At a protest in London, Natalia is surrounded by family and wrapped in the flag of her country. But her mind is elsewhere. My mum and my stepdad were living in Sumi and uh, for the last two days uh, the Sumi just been uh, bombed and artillery shelled and people can't even escape because the town is surrounded now so there is nowhere to go and, and even, if it's, even if it's a chance for them to escape actually quite a lot of people don't want to go but say we will stand there till, well, until we can. Natalia's mother is in Sumi a town 40 kilometers from Ukraine's northeast border. Russian forces have been shelling it for days. My mum actually texted me saying um, they're bombing again and I've signed up to this uh, Sumi group that's getting an update and I could see that uh, uh, there was a, the, the warning of the siren and uh, I still last voice had been two hours. I'm still waiting to hear back from my mum to see if well, she's alive basically, yeah. And to be fair, that's pretty much how me and my family, that's how we have been for a week now, or I don't even know how many days it is. It just seems to be just this one horrible day that every evening I say goodnight and goodbye to her, and every morning we just wake up and hope and she'll answer again. <laughs> It seems everyone here has a reason to pray. Just yesterday, I was uh, I was on a call with uh, my, my grandparents, and uh, um, our call was stopped by uh, by sirens. Um, so, I mean, so far they haven't started bombing there or anything. But um, in the uh, in the east, um, so far, I mean, the. They're relatively all right compared to, you know, anybody on the front lines. I've heard that women are separated from their kids. Um, men are left back to fight for the country. And this just really brings burden to my heart. Football stood together too. The Premier League and its clubs calling for peace. A loud and united message across all of football.